<laughs> I think uh, growing up in Kansas influenced me tremendously. I think um, bands, there's a certain uh, sense of um, un uh, infinity in terms of space and also a heaviness and connectedness to the earth underneath your feet. Um, and I think I think that's actually one of the, been the largest influences on what I appreciate in movement. Um, I think that's colored it pretty significantly. Um, and, and there's a real uh, kind of earnestness to people in Kansas. Um, a, a simplicity that's really about kind of getting to the essence of things, um, whether it's conscious or not. And I think that's I think that's also shaped me a good deal as an artist. Um, well, it began as a commission for uh, uh, Wolf Trap National Park, and they have uh, they have a series called Face of America, and every couple of years they commission a different choreographer to make a piece about a different national park. So they actually they asked me if I would do Glacier National Park, and um, I was pretty excited about the idea just because it's something I never would have thought of on my own. Um, you know, I definitely wanted to focus on um, global climate change. And uh, how that's affecting the park, and you know how it's we're losing it. You know it's going away. The glaciers uh, conceivably won't be there in the next thirty years at all. Um, so kind of put those ideas together, and that sort of became my launching point. It was more of a process of coaching the dancers in the big picture, and like what what we were trying to achieve and communicate. And then they had a lot of a lot of freedom to work work within that. And I and then I think uh, the actual choreography. From that comes in the editing room, and I, you know, I spend time making the dance. Um, you know, that created the architecture for the piece, and then we went into the studio, and I created the the live dance that that happens with it. <laughs> 